Welcome to Dice Control Dojo. I'm Phil, and I practice every day and share my tips on practicing so we can all do better at the casino. Today we're going to talk about breathing, how important it is, how to breathe, what that looks like uh, meditation-wise. I truly believe in that as I talk about yoga, how it affects your swing, and how you practice that. But before we do that, I want to say this is my 30th day. I can't believe there's only 60 days left till Vegas. I am so super excited. I never thought I'd be working so hard at this that I would be uh, consistently excited about Vegas. I am. I think things are going well. I think making these videos are holding me accountable to practicing. And just to give you some inside skivvy, um, I'm realizing now that I haven't been doing proper deliberate practice all these years or uh, putting consistent effort in because by holding myself accountable on deliberate practice, I've had some sore backs, I've had some sore fingers, uh, my warm-ups have been helpful, I've had to go and have a, have a massage and uh, it was an exercise science lady that was helping me out and gave me some exercises to help because uh, I was uh, hurting for certain. So if you are doing your 90 days, 60 days, 30 days, however you're practicing for deliberate practice, make sure you're warming up properly and make sure you you know, I've pushed through. I'm on day 30, so my back is good, my arms are good, my warm-ups are good, and I'm able to throw more consistently. So let's talk about breathing today. I'm excited to talk about this because this is a part of dice throwing that I don't think a lot of people talk about. When you do go to coaches and, and mentors, breathing is, uh, is important, but we're not highlighting it enough on how important it is. If you've played baseball or golf and you've had lessons, uh, we all know that if you're holding your breath, when you're swinging, it's causing tension in your shoulders, your arms, your legs, and you're not going to throw consistent or you're not going to um, drive that golf ball the way you want it to. My coaches, when I was uh, a kid and even through my adult uh, during golf, we talked a lot about what breathing looks like. And they want me to be breathing out on the throw. Breathing out on the throw. That's relaxing you as you're coming through. And in baseball, a lot of my coaches were like, "What? don't hold your breath when you're swinging through. You have to be breathing out. If you look at a lot of slow motion on the pros, you're seeing them blow out on their throw, on their um, swing through. And it's like that with baseball. When you're watching them, they're throwing. You're seeing their face. Watch them externally breathing. They're, they're slowly breathing out. It's very important that you get the breath right. All right? I don't want you overthinking it. So you need to do this while you're at home. And you got to make sure you're breathing right. My breathing technique may be different than yours. I just want to make sure I'm breathing out as I'm releasing. So that I'm releasing my energy, I'm releasing my breath all at the same time. Now, a lot of you say this is hogwash, and that's, that's fine. But I truly believe keeping a consistent breath throughout your dice control is going to help you. Now, I also use breathing, breathing techniques for my meditation. Um, before I go onto a casino... I, if I'm in the car before I go, I'm relaxing. I've used Headspace and Calm as apps that'll teach you how to properly breathe and do quick meditations. They have quick ways of breathing. And it's in through the mouth, out, uh, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And it's deep breaths. And what you're trying to do is relax your body. So I use breathing techniques when the dice are coming around at the casino. I'm not only keeping my hands warm, 
but I'm trying to keep myself calm because I know I'm about to throw. So deep breaths, relaxing. A lot of easy, easy, straightforward meditation. Concentrating on one number at the table and relaxing. That's a lot of breathing before I throw. Now in the middle of my throw, if I'm in a big roll and my craps crew is seeing what's going on, they're seeing my focus. And what I am, I'm super focused. I'm focusing on one thing. So after I throw the dice and they call, whatever they call the number is, I'm putting my bets out, collecting my bets, and then they're paying it out, right? So then they're putting the dice out there. So I keep everything external. My meditation is a lot of deep breaths out. And I'm concentrating on one thing on this board. And I'm just relaxing. I'm relaxing my feet. I'm working my way down from my feet up to my legs, up to my shoulders, and out. We'll talk a little bit more about this on uh, day 70 or so. Because when I'm about to go to the casino, I want to make sure my breathing... My meditation is all in check right before I leave. But what does breathing look like when I'm about to roll? So they bring the dice over to me. And as I'm relaxing, right, I get everything where I want it to be and that, that those dice are set. I'm, extern I'm exhaling. So taking a deep breath right before the dice come over, slowly release, releasing. Then I'm taking another breath in when I'm setting, and then it's a slow, slow release on the exit. So let's review that. It's breathing right before the dice come over to you. Nice deep breath through the nose, then release through the mouth as I grab it. Then a nice big deep breath through the nose, up, and then I'm setting my target, and it's don't run out of breath. Slowly release your breath through the throw. That's going to relax your body. It's going to relax your arms, and it's a consistent thing. So I wonder how many of you thought that breathing was so important. It is. You're going to throw much more consistently if you're breathing out as you throw, just like at a pitching or batting or golfing. You're going to throw more consistency if you're breathing out, a nice relaxed breathing out every time. So in, release, then in. And then out. See that? It's relaxing. Then when the dice are coming around or they're paying the bets, get your bets out. And then center your body. Center your feet. Relax. Maybe have a drink. Reset. Keep your hands loose. Out in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Nice. Deep relaxation. I highly suggest you take a look at Headspace and Calm. They're much more uh, in tune with how you can relax. I use a lot of that before I go to the casino, get myself ready. They have two minute, three minute, five minute meditations before you get into the casino. Then once you're there, making sure you're relaxed, getting your bets up, getting everything you need to do so that when you're coming to here, you're consistently releasing in, target, and release. And I hope that helped. I hope you practice that each and every day. And I hope you have it down consistently. Um, so tomorrow, we're going to go over the throw. So we've been specific at all the dice things that we've talked about, right? On picking it up, gripping and ripping, right? We've done all that. We've even talked about the backswing a little bit. 
in the breathing techniques, I'm going to dissect the actual throw. What does that look like? The entire thing, and then we're going to go specific things when we're talking about your what your what your hand should be doing, what your thumb should be doing, your wrists, where your thumb is pointing, how your muscle mass is going to do, what's the happens after you release, what does that look like, what zone are you doing, what arc are we doing, and what is our goal. Uh, on landing zones and how you're throwing. We're going to get into the weeds on each of those, and I hope you join me tomorrow when we do an overview of the throw. And as always, as my craps crew consistently says, and they love this, the best strategy that we have is to throw for a long time. 